All right, today we review season two of the Player Development Pod. Before we start, please, please fill out the season two review survey that's in the show notes for a free gift. Yes, a free gift from me. Season two's focus was on a group of individuals who are doing the work in the player development field. The guests during season two did not disappoint. I continuously received messages about how much each episode impacted listeners. I was thrilled when I began planning this episode, when all the guests that I asked or reached out to, when they all said, yeah, I don't mind coming on, or I would love to come on. It really meant a lot to me. I was truly humble when they would respond, I'm honored, or they were looking to be on if I ever had guests. That was actually really, really cool. Um, so hearing that they wanted to help me out any way possible, help me out in this plan and in my mission to help player development, help those in this space and to help grow the space, Truly means a lot for your boy. Before and after these episodes, I was able to connect with the guests, you know, connect with them on a personal level. You know, we talked about professional stuff as far as player development, but to connect with them on a personal level. And it really meant a lot to me because I was going through a lot of stuff during that time. That's well documented in previous episodes. If you want to get into that, you can. But personally, I was going through some stuff and just the encouragement, the uplifting that they brought me during this time before the show, after the show, it really meant a lot. So if you're one of the guests that's listening right now, you're listening to this, thank you so much for helping me walk through one of the toughest seasons I've been in in my life. One of the coolest aspects of season two and these player development pod episodes with the guests was seeing their village, you know, seeing spouses, parents, brothers, sisters, kids, you know, family members, best friends, just different people like really rejoicing in an episode. Personally, I, I just I, I just thought I was helping them get their voice out for player development, but it was such a greater thing. And it was so cool to see that, to see people rejoice in the people that they know, in their loved one, being able to express the passion and all the sacrifice and the hard work they've done in their life to reach this point, to have a voice in this space. That was pretty cool, like legit cool. As we review season two, I want to continue to celebrate these individuals. Here comes the gratitude roll call. Thank you, Lamont Winston, Dr. Lacey Carmen Johnson, Coach Tony Hole, Chris Smith, Darian Harris, Alexander Martin, Tobrick Blaine, Cedric Steptoe, Tony Washington Jr., Ashley Goodman, James Sherman, Andre Sims Jr., Dr. Lori Robinson, and Gus Felder. I greatly appreciate y'all coming on the show and professionally and personally progressing the player development and athlete development space not only for myself, but for all the listeners. All right, if you're familiar with the social media post of the show and kind of how I market or highlight the speaker throughout the week of their episode, you would know about something called three takeaways. So I always put a post about the three things that I took away from the conversation I had with this elite uh, professional in person. And so I thought, you know what? Let me do the three takeaways of season two and the player development pod. So number one, the number one takeaway I have is there is deep support in a player development, athlete development space for all involved. You know, um, the ability to bring elite guests each week is one example of that. To have the support of these people, as I mentioned earlier, who were there and encouraged me during tough times meant a lot. But one thing that was common with each episode and every single guest was that they shouted out or mentioned someone in the player development, athlete development space who has helped them get to where they are or helped influence them in some way. Every single guest shouted out somebody else who works in this space. When you think about it, that's truly incredible. Just think about it. What other profession, you know, what other space can someone always highlight somebody else in that space? These random guests, these 14 random guests all have the same common message in talking about their life and how they got into the roles that they're in. In a society where many point to the success that they've created and what they've done, and I'm all for hard work, as you know, it is very enlightening and great to see that every guest, and I mean every single guest, talked about someone else who helped them on their journey in this space. If you're new to the space and looking for a support system, just reach out. Trust me, people are there and they're willing to help. Number two takeaway I have, the guests saturated us with waves and waves of advice. 
I mean advice about life, the profession, the role, and how to find success. I personally created an advice section to help listeners gain wisdom in this space and in life. And I knew that my guests wouldn't disappoint. But as we say in Houston, Maine, 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 they came with that fire on a weekly basis. It was so many nuggets, or as Dr. Lacey Carmen Johnson says, so many gems in each episode. Please go back and listen to the advice that they had given. The number three takeaway was a variety of self-care tips that our guests gave. This part of the podcast became very successful as these elite professionals shared how they take care of themselves. In this player development, athlete development space, you take care of so many athletes. And then you heard a lot of guests talk about how they take care of staffs. And they're sitting there, a lot's coming on their desk. They have to perform. They have to take care of others. They're helping develop other people's lives. I think it was important for me to put in there so you all can hear how they take care of themselves. And the one thing that I loved about it was that they were ready. Like it wasn't like, oh, when we were recording live, it wasn't like, hey, no, let me get some time. They were prepared. And it was great for me to see that they have already prepared in their lives these self-care tips. Now, I'm getting better at that. And I got a lot of tips from uh, our guests and I learned a lot. Um, just tips for self-care to help, you know, the self-care helps you not only in your role, but just in your life and how important it is to hear how important it is in their lives and the lives of others who they dearly love. So if you are struggling with, you know, self-care and you need to figure that out and find a balance or whatever you would call it with that, please go back and listen. I struggle with that. I was a workaholic. I was just, you know, just go, 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 go. It really hit me my fifth year teaching high school students. I had a freshman class and they asked me what my hobbies were. And I was like, well, I just go home, watch football, whatever. And they basically told me I was whack. And I really went back home and had a self-reflection of like, man, I really don't have any way to disengage this. So if you're in that spot, I hope you're not, please go back and listen to these guests as they have great information on how they take care of themselves. Now I'll add one extra takeaway. I normally do three, but I'll add an extra one. And that is because I love snacks and I love food. Our guest gave us 28 different places to eat around the United States and Canada. And hey, look, I love it. I was taking it. Somebody was like, man, I see what you're doing. Yes, you know exactly what I'm doing. I'm getting places to eat around uh, the, the world. And so, uh, I, you know what? I might make a PDF. I might type this all out, make a PDF, give links to the places, maybe tag the places. So my guests get NIL deals or get discounts at these places. Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. Transition a little bit about some season two updates or kind of like some things that have happened since season two. One of them is because of the success of season two, this will not be the end of interviews with those in this space. So I look forward to additional guests on this show. We will continue to have guests as we walk into season three. And honestly, for the rest of this podcast, however long this podcast lasts, I will continue to have guests in this space because it was just, it was massively successful. Once again, Season two's guest, thank you so much. Thank you, Lamont Winston. Thank you, Dr. Lacey Carmen Johnson. Thank you, Coach Tony Hall. Thank you, Chris Smith. Thank you, Darian Harris. Thank you, Alexander Martin. Thank you to Brooke Blaine. Thank you, Cedric Steptoe. Thank you, Tony Washington Jr. Thank you, Ashley Goodman. Thank you, James Sherman. Thank you, Andre Sims Jr. Thank you, Dr. Lori Robinson. And thank you, Gus Felder. Now, let's talk about the Player Development Conference. Let's go to Player Development Conference. Last week's episode, I announced that I'll be hosting a Player Development Conference in spring 2023. If you read the blog, kind of looking at May 2023. So I'm going to get those dates to you pretty soon here in the earlier part of 2023. I'm super excited and will continue to share details about the conference as the time goes. If you would like to join the Player Development mailing list for exclusive um, you know, content or exclusive or what is behind the scenes uh, type announcements of speakers and different things like that, please use the mailing list and survey link in the show notes. All right, so season two is done. We're reviewing it now, but let's talk about season three. Season three will begin in January, 2023. I will begin season three with a head coach and player development series. The reason why I'm doing this is because there's a lot of transition going on right now in college football and coaches will begin hiring player development professionals in January. That's my experience. I got hired every place I've been in January or February. So I'm going to go an aspect and helping, I'm going to go from an aspect, excuse me, of helping coaches 
in their search for player development professionals? Or what if a coach walks in and somebody's there? How can they help them? I've been a part of both uh, both of those situations. So this is a head coach and player development uh, series. So head coaches, if you're listening, uh, this is to you so you can see how player development can help impact and influence your program. Now, after that series, I'm creating a series about those who help player development. And like this season two is those who work in it. This is going to be those who help. So these are businesses and professionals who provide services or programs to help player development and the player development cause. Mm -hmm. After that, we'll walk into a blog series. So I will go back and look at some of the more successful blogs I've put on my website and kind of walk through some things there. Uh, You know, maybe touch up on some of the older uh, podcast episodes, but we'll walk through a blog series there. And then season three, we'll start preparing for the player development conference. Maybe we'll start interviewing speakers. I'll be giving you more information on that. Really, really, truly excited about that. But that's what season three is going to look like for you all. I saw the other day on Instagram that 95% of podcasters don't make it to their 50th episode. Well, this is episode 41 and season three will cover 50 episodes. So because of your support, I'm actually getting to that high echelon. I don't know all those numbers and stuff, but I'm going to be the 5%. There it is. That makes it past 50 episodes. But I really, truly could not do that without you. So I thank you for tuning in. I thank you for the comments. I thank you for all the messages. Thank y'all so much for tuning into the Player Development Pod. Maybe you came here because you know one of the guests and you saw the link and you know you you listen to the pod and listen to another episode. Whatever brings you here, I appreciate you. Seriously, I really, really do. You also, as a guest, help me walk through a tough time in my life. So let's do this together. Let's be 5% of podcasters that actually makes it 250 episodes. I'm so excited. Once again, please go to the show notes and fill out the season two review survey to get a free gift from me. Once again, go fill out the season two review survey to get a free gift from me. Happy holidays to you and your family.